Firepower Threat Defense, 622, Threat Intelligence Director. We're going to talk about hail a taxi and uh, ingest uh, taxi feeds. So um, taxi is a repository of open source cyber threat intelligence feeds in STIX format. Um, you can see there's hundreds of thousands of indicators here um, available and there's multiple feeds. You can select uh, one, a collection of them or all of them if you want to. Um, all you have to do to connect is uh, capture that URL and you can use guest guess um, to authenticate. So let's, uh, let's leverage this. Um, so let's uh, have a quick look at uh, the intelligence director, threat intelligence director from Cisco. So the intelligence, you can see there's nothing there. We have no sources. The elements that we publish to is a couple of next gen firewalls and we can see that we have it enabled. So fantastic. So let's, um, let's uh, grab a taxi feed here. Uh, let's paste that URL in. Username is guest, password is guest. Um, from here, we will select multiple feeds. Now we could select them all, like I mentioned earlier. I'm just selecting a few just to show you how easy it is to ingest um, additional security intelligence beyond what Cisco Talos provides you today, as well as uh, additional uh, feeds that go beyond uh, adding third-party security intelligence feeds. Uh, the difference with um, Threat Intelligence Director is the moment we take this feed data in um, and uh, build um, uh, whether we want to monitor or block, it's it's live, it's happening. Um, so uh, currently we've got um, uh, you know deliveries taxi. The format is uh, sticks. We can see the state is new. Um, if we go to indicators, we can start seeing that we're already ingesting data. Um, we've got 39 indicators so far, and that'll continue to refresh as we continue to pull that data in. If we go to observables, we can see that we're also seeing that they're increasing. Um, so how does it really work? Uh, an indicator is one or more observables. Observables could be things like a SHA-256, a URL, an IP address, um, etc. So we can see as we refresh here, the indicators are uh, climbing. Um, as I mentioned earlier, an observable could be, an indicator could have two or three observables, right? It could mean that you need a URL and a SHA to have a full indicator uh, uh, realized, right? Um, or it could be just a URL. So you can see the state there is pending. Um, once it comes in, you can actually just uh, hover over top of it and it'll tell you how many ingested, how many were um, um, failed, for example, because of the format, etc. cetera. Um, so let's have a look at one of these indicators. So we can see here that this indicator is looking for uh, a specific URL. Uh, it's set to monitor. Uh, by default, when you take in a taxi feed, it's going to be a uh, monitor and you can't change the entire feed to be blocked. A file, you could do that uh, when you ingest the file. Monitor, you can select individual indicators that, or observables and, and do a block on those. Um, you can see I downloaded the sticks, just open up real quick and, and no pad to show you that that's available. Again, we look at observables, we're over 1400 now, right? So you can see the type in this case is URL. Um, so let's look at one of these and actually go to it and see what happens. So we'll go to this URL, we can see the action is monitored, we can see that we're publishing to our elements, which happen to be next gen firewall platforms. So our Cisco Firepower Threat Defense uh, uh, platform in this case. We have no in, uh, incidents at this point. So let's uh, let's connect and see what happens. Open up a browser. We'll go to that uh, site. See, it's not working. Or sorry, it is working. Um, it is set to monitor, so we're not blocking actually. And you can see that we do have an incident now. So we have the indicator name, we can uh, go over top, we can see that it says fully realized because it was only one uh, observable in that indicator that was required. You can see we can set the confidence level, the action was monitored, we can give it a category, we can move it into an open state, meaning that we're gonna investigate it. Um, as I mentioned in previous video with the file ingest um, here, you can go and whitelist um, as well, right from the actual incident. 
So let's go to the security events and have a look at the event itself. So we can see a URL monitor here. Um, so let's uh, let's select that and dig into this a little bit deeper. So here we can see the, the, the reason was URL monitor. We can see that security intelligence category is threat intelligence director, URL monitor. And we can see the URL, which we can right click from here and blacklist if we choose to do so. Or we could have changed the indicator to block it. So that's good. So let's, uh, let's now go to uh, the indicators again and let's have a look at another one here. And you can see that it's populated because I was doing some additional testing over time and uh, uh, just to see how things uh, progressed. But here we're going to go to this um, particular URL. We're going to set the action to block. Um, and again, it's published to the elements, which are our Firepower Threat Defense uh, platform in this case. So now that we're at block, and you can see I didn't deploy the policy to the sensor, right? I didn't do anything, right? I just I enabled the block function. And now that we come in here, let's um, let's type in the URL and uh, and see what happens. Ah, so we didn't get anywhere. Let's let's try to hit that a couple times here. Now, if we go to incidents, we can see the top three here are those URLs, and we got the block action. So let's go to events. So we know we didn't get there, right? Um, but let's see what the events say, the connection events. So you can see the th top three there, it says URL block. If we go to table events, what we'll see here is we know we have the block action. We see the threat intelligence URL block this time. Now, if we jump over to our dashboard, you're gonna see that we actually break up um, the intelligence uh, categories right so we give you a clear indication of what actually happened so you can see url security intelligence monitor was kicked the threat intelligence monitor the threat intelligence url block and then we have a global blacklist there as well as well as if we go to summary dashboard and we look at the security intelligence categories that have been triggered you can see that there's a couple there two of which happen to be the uh threat intelligence director now we can see that that host had a, and this is just going a little bit extra to see or to show, you know, how one might go through um, analyzing and making a decision. So we went to the actual asset that shows three indications of compromise. Uh, we can then pivot to each one of these events, do additional investigation. Um, or in my case, I'm going to mark as resolved. We know it's a Windows 7 box. Uh, now that I've done that, marked it as resolved, it's going to change from that red color, right? The, the actual monitor with the red screen to a blue screen because we've cleared the indications of compromise. And that's it. Pretty simple stuff um, and pretty powerful.